this is my new 2014 Honda Civic Si. Um, as all of you know, I traded my 12 uh, Mazda 3. Uh, actually, last week I went up to the dealership and got this. Um, I did make a video of, you know, just kind of the experience going up there to the dealership and picking this car up and bringing it home and everything. But I've just been so busy, I haven't had a chance to edit that video yet. So hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. But in the meantime, here's just a quick look at my new car and all of the features that it has and everything. Um, so like I said, this is the 2014 Honda Civic SI sedan in crystal black pearl. It has the red and black cloth interior. Uh, we'll start off here in the back. I really like the tail lights on this car and of course you have the bright red SI badge along with the nice rear spoiler. It gives it a, a very sporty and uh, just very fun look. Also you have the large chrome exhaust outlet there and just a uh, little rear diffuser uh, kind of design there. Went ahead and took off the uh, tacky looking chrome uh, plate frames that came with the car when it, uh, you know, from the dealership. Also, I'm going to put in some LED license plate lights in there. I uh, just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've also got LED uh, interior lights, and I'm going to order some yellow fog light bulbs for it too. Here we have 18 inch alloy wheels with uh, gloss black painted accents. We're riding on Continental Country Road Contact tires. Um, I already missed the uh, Extreme Contact DWS tires I had on the Mazda. These aren't quite as good, but um, you know, they'll be replaced in probably 20 or 30,000 miles, so and I can pick whatever tires I want. Here in the front, you can see we have these um, awesome fog lights here. Uh, the Mazda didn't have fog lights. I just think this car looks really aggressive with the fog lights lit up like that. Also, you have the SI badge in the grill. Nice chrome accents on the grill and kind of the underbody uh, portion there. And lastly, I want to point out you do have your lane watch camera here in the passenger side mirror. I'll demonstrate that once we get inside the vehicle. And of course, you have your IV Tech dual overhead cam badging on the uh, rear doors there. And all the 2014 Honda Civic SIs come with the uh, smart key entry system. So, this is the key fob. It has a nice, heavy, high quality feel to it. So as long as it's within range, once you touch the door handle, it will unlock. Push the button there to lock it, and uh, you can customize some of the settings with it. I set it to unlock all the doors once one of the two front door handles is touched, because the rear doors don't have the uh, unlock uh, touch sensitive portion there. So we open it up here, and you can see it has this awesome black and red uh, two-tone cloth interior with red accent stitching here on the seats, on the uh, console, on the door panels, on the shift boot, and on the steering wheel. It's just a very nice touch. You can see here on the door handle, or on the door panel, excuse me, this uh, silver painted plastic trim. Also the top portion is soft to the touch, and it has this faux stitching. All of your power window, power mirrors, uh, power lock controls are located right there. From the step in the vehicle, you can see it has a very cockpit-like feel because everything's kind of angled towards the driver and it's just a very driver-oriented cabin. It looks really nice and um, you know everything's just within easy reach and just right there at a glance. So to start the vehicle, put your foot on the clutch and hit the start button. Um, but if you just want to turn on the accessory mode, hit the start button once. Hit it again to turn it into the on position. And then if we push in the clutch and press the start button, like I said, it does start the engine. And the nice red um, illuminations here on the instrument cluster. I'm gonna close the door. All of the doors on this vehicle have a nice solid feel to them, which is kind of unlike the Mazda. Have your iMid and audio controls here, cruise control, and also your, your Bluetooth is located right there. Have the SI emblem here on the bottom of the steering wheel. Also, yeah, you have your gloss black and chrome accents on the spokes. It looks very nice. Your sport pedals there. Automatic headlights, fog lights. Pushing this button here activates the lane watch camera, which is very useful actually. Uh, seems kind of gimmicky, but it's it's a very nice feature to have. Put your uh, rev indicator up there, fuel gauge, and your digital speedometer. Um, all of this stays red. It doesn't change colors like it does on the normal Civic. Um, on you know pretty much everything but the SI, these red bars there are green when you're driving efficiently, and they turn blue when you're kind of driving it hard. And the SI is always red all the time. Have your iMid display here. As you can see, we can cycle through the different displays. Very cool. 
<coughs> leather wrapped steering wheel, your faux carbon fiber trim, climate controls located right there. Very simple, nice high quality feel on the buttons and knobs. Also, you have your display audio system here. So we're going to audio. Um, you've got all your different songs here on this CD. Back home, you have your phone, info, settings, and link. Um, I don't have the Honda Link app on my phone, so I can't really demonstrate anything with that. Like I said, this is just kind of a quick uh, video here. I'll go much more in depth later on. You have your six-speed manual. So that's very nice. Pop it into reverse there, and you have your backup camera with your guidance lines. Two cup holders, parking brake, you have your sliding armrest. Opens up to a nice console there. It is slightly padded, actually. Nice black headliner, looks very cool. Go ahead and open up the hood. And you can see the rear seat is, uh, you know, got some decent space to it. Nice flat load floor there. Fold down armrest. So it's more comfortable and more spacious than the rear seat in the Mazda. Also, like I said, all the doors have just a very nice solid feel and sound to them when you open and close them. I'm not sure how well that's coming through on the camera. Trunk release button is located right here. Pretty decent size. You have folding rear seats. Oh, you have your temporary spare. Of course, this is the same as the other side. You do only have one map pocket, which is um, a little bit of a pain, but it's okay, I suppose. You can see over here on the passenger side of the dashboard, it is soft to the touch. And the uh, faux stitching does continue. Decent sized glove box. Also you have the SI specific floor mats. And uh, looking under the hood, the uh, 2014 Civic SI has Honda's K24 Z7 engine. It's a 2.4 liter inline four. Roller in pan, IV sack, all of that good stuff. It produces 205 horsepower and 176 foot pounds of torque. Uh, the SI only comes with a six speed manual. It's um, a pretty decent engine. Once you get about 4,000 RPM, it really opens up, really sounds great. But below 4,000, it's just kind of, I don't know, a little bit boring. It sounds like an Accord. It's not that much to write home about until you really get into it and open it up. Um, also, it revs just super smoothly. And the way the transmission is geared, it feels a lot faster than it really is. So it's a lot of fun to drive. Uh, stay tuned for more videos of this car. And if there's anything specific that you guys want to see, let me know.